Alright, so now we're going to be talking about the derivative of secant of x. And this is pretty similar to the derivative of tangent of x and cosecant of x and cotangent of x in that you need to know some sine and cosine properties and um, you need to know the quotient rule. Alright, so if we write out the derivative of secant of x, we can say that that is the same thing as the derivative of 1 over cosine of x, by definition, right? We know that from uh, geometry, algebra 2, I don't know. We know it from a long time ago. We know that secant of x is the same thing as 1 over cosine of x. So, what we can do is we can do the quotient rule, okay? So, we take the derivative of the numerator, that's 0, times the denominator, cosine of x, minus the derivative of the bottom, or the numerator, then the derivative of the bottom, negative sine of x, all over the denominator squared. Okay? So, 0 times cosine of x, this just cancels, and in the numerator, we have a negative, and a negative makes a positive, so we have sine of x, over cosine squared x. And now what we can do is we can separate the denominator into sine of x over cosine x times cosine x. And we can pretend that there's just some one right here that sine of x is being multiplied by. And we can just split these down the middle into sine of x times cosine x or over cosine x times 1 over cosine x, right? And then we can convert these two. This one turns to tangent of x, and this one turns into, like we said before, secant of x. That is the derivative of secant of x. That's how easy it is. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!